What the fuck even is this? Three months. Three. Fucking. Months. Like come on, when can this nightmare just end? I just want to go home for fuck's sake. Oliver, stand up please. It's very important. Yes, Officer Bell. What is it this time? Well, I'm actually here to inform you that your father is here to bring you home, since your three-month prison sentence is over. Wait, are you for real about this? Yes, I'm serious. But also, I better not hear another incident of you or anyone in your gang committing an act like you did on Halloween never again. Do I make myself very clear? Um, yes, Officer Bell, I understand. So, can I go now? Yes, just go. I don't want to have to look at you for the next while. So, just go already, since your father is patiently waiting for you. I seriously don't know what the international terrors were thinking, but at least they have served their three-month sentence, and I won't have to deal with them, hopefully for a while. But enough of that. I'm just going to see if Ravina and Jason want to go and grab a coffee or something from that convenience store across the road from the police station. Well, after three long months, you are finally out of jail. Don't even bother saying anything. Just get in the car and don't say a word. Well, had enough time in jail to think about your actions, huh Oliver? Yes mom, I did, and I'm guessing you haven't forgotten about it. Well duh. No shit Sherlock. I mean, how can we forget about what you did? What you did was inexcusable, especially considering what you did, like we would forget about it. And if it isn't obvious enough, just look at your own sister, she doesn't even want to look at you, especially what you did to her and her friends. And also, after what Olivia told me, I found a sense of relief that I wasn't able to leave the house, since I didn't want to go through another arrest with you and that gang. But besides all of that, don't you have something to say to Amelia? And for your own sake, don't come any closer from where you are, since Amelia doesn't want to be near you. Listen Amelia, I do sincerely apologize for what me, Amber, and the international terrorists did to you and all members of the Young Bucks back on Halloween. We were just tired of our parents denying us freedom on a constant basis and all of our minds clicked together when Amber told us what we were going to do. And believe me Amelia, all of us had enough time in jail, to think about what we did, and we promise that we will never do anything like that to you, or anyone else ever again. Well Oliver, as apologetic as I tend to be, I'm never going to forgive you for what you and the international terrors did to me and my friends, considering what we went through. Like seriously, you have no ideas how much I went through due to that, I couldn't sleep for days at a time. I kept on having nightmares of you and that gang actually assaulting me. And I couldn't go to sleep without mom by my side, it may seem childish, but without mom being with me, I didn't even feel safe in my own bedroom, even when you were behind bars. And to say the least, all of the other members of the Young Bucks were the exact same, they couldn't fall asleep without their mother, or an older sibling by their side, it was, honestly, horrible. Well Oliver, now can you see even clearer how much you and your gang's actions affected Amelia? And also, everything that Amelia said was 100% true. I literally had to let Amelia sleep in my bed for a few weeks, due to how scared and insecure she felt in her own room, even though Olivia and Amelia share a bedroom together. And honestly, seeing Amelia all scared and traumatized after what you and your friends put her through, really upset me, Olivia, and even William to see. And honestly, you had no idea how close we were to disowning you from this family, but we've decided not to, so consider yourself incredibly lucky. Anyways, Olivia, can you go upstairs and look for Amelia and check to see if she is okay? Yes Aunt Charlotte, and honestly, I don't want to look at this sorry motherfucker anymore, and I'm pretty sure I know where she is. She is probably in her bedroom. And William, I think it's time you, your father and I move on to the next part of why we are all here. Don't you agree? For sure, Mom. And also, is where I'm standing okay? Yes, William, where you are standing is okay. 
You know what, I think I'm going to stand, since I'm probably going to lose my shit after what we get through to this sick fuck's head. Um, what, what do you mean by that mum? Well Oliver, we do have something else to address, and it's about the international terrors, and well, to put it bluntly. You are truly out of your fucking mind right now, you seriously had the fucking audacity to persuade your own brother to join the international terrors back in 2022. Yeah! And not only that, but you also had the fucking audacity to force your own brother to join by putting your father's own gun in his fucking mouth. And also, you and Amber even forced William to keep your gang's racist tendencies a secret from Alula, by holding a knife to his throat and threatened to kill him. William, you, fucking, didn't. You didn't tell mum and dad everything I specifically told you not to? What the fuck does it look like you fucking idiot? Of course I told them. Especially since I'm no longer getting involved with the international terrors anymore. Yep, you fucking heard me. I'm no longer a member of the international terrors, and there is absolutely nothing you, or any other member of that gang is going to do about it. And for the record, Aluna is also no longer a member of the international terrors, since I revealed all of the racist acts the international terrors have done to her. And like myself, you are going to do nothing about it. And I mean, nothing, you piece of shit for a brother. Oh. You wish, just you wait and see, when I get a hold of you, you are going to pay big time. No one leaves our gang and gets away with it. No. You are not going to do anything you motherfucker, if you lay one finger on your brother, it will be the biggest mistake of your whole entire fucking life. Yeah. And if you are too stupid to remember, since you are now out of jail, you are now grounded for another full fucking year. Now, you better head to your fucking room right now, and don't even think about laying one single finger on any of your siblings for the time being. I swear to god, one day, I'm going to fucking make all of you pay for this. gra a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a God, I swear to God, what have we honestly raised? We never raised Oliver to be a fucking psycho. Will he ever learn? At this point, that's not important, we have other things to deal with right now. Hey, please don't cry Amelia, I really hate to see you all upset, and besides, Oliver is most likely getting a very long grounding for all of his actions. Sorry Amelia, it's just that remembering what Oliver and the international terrors did to me on Halloween was just terrible, it just gives me really bad memories from that night. Amelia and Olivia, are you two in here? If so, can me, your mother, and brother William come in? Yes Noah. You three can come in. Amelia, can you please turn around and look at us please? Amelia, please listen to us when we say this. You have absolutely nothing to be worried about. Oliver is now grounded for everything he has done to you and many others. And we will try our best to make sure that he does no more harm to anyone else ever again. Most definitely yourself. Yeah. And Amelia, we love you so much, you're an absolute gem to this family, and you mean so much to us, and Amelia, the day I gave birth to you 12 years ago, was another amazing day in me and your father's lives. Yeah, mom and dad are absolutely right Amelia, and even though we never saw eye to eye, I always still had love for you, you are my younger sister, and now that I've changed my ways for the better, we can now mend the broken bond we have, and we can go back to having a loving relationship as brother and sister. Well, thank you so much mom, dad, and William. You three definitely mean a lot to me, just like Olivia and William. I'm just so happy that you are no longer becoming a follower, as well as no longer being a part of the international terrors. And William, you saying that you want to mend the bond that you and I lost means so much to me, especially since you and I are in an agreement on forming the bond we never got to properly have as brother and sister. Your kindness really means everything to me, William. Anytime Amelia, and besides, like I said before, even though we never saw eye to eye all of the time, you are still my younger sister, and always had respect for you. And going forward, I, along with Olivia, Mom, and Dad, will always do our best to protect you from any danger that comes our way, especially from that piece of shit Oliver. Wow William, that was probably one of the nicest things that you have ever said to Amelia, and I'm so happy that you are no longer a member of that psychopathic gang and you are now willing to reform the bond you lost with Amelia. 
I'm just so amazed with how much you have improved over this past month, William. Well, if it means doing whatever is right for this family, and no longer getting grounded anymore, then change is what I'm willing to adapt to going forward. Wow. William, hearing those words coming out of your mouth is what we are hoping to hear for the longest time. We are just so proud of you, William. Yeah. William, words cannot describe how proud we are of you. Your behavior has changed so much over the past month, and all of us couldn't be any more happy for you. And you know what, William, if you and Amelia want to reform the bond you two lost, how about all five of us go out for lunch together as a family? How does that sound to you three? Wow, Dad. That is a great idea. I would love to go out for lunch with all of you, especially since we don't have to be in the same premises as Oliver for a while. Yeah, I agree with Amelia. That would be a great idea, wouldn't you agree, William? Definitely, Olivia. Especially if it means that Amelia and I can continue remending the bond we had as brother and sister. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's go, you three, and let's have a good time without Oliver. I'm done. I'm so fucking done. My family are such assholes, and I can't believe that William and Luna have left the international terrors. I'm so fucking done. And mom, dad, Amelia, Olivia, William, and Luna, sooner than later, all of you bitches are going to pay for what you did, and trust me, it's going to be ultimate revenge for me, as well as Amber, and the rest of the international terrors, just you wait and see.